All right, let's be honest. Designing a website sounds complicated, right? Coding, designs, hosting, it can feel so overwhelming on where to start. But I'm here to share with you guys that it's really not that difficult. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a beautiful WordPress website from scratch without touching a single line of code. And by the end of this video, you will know how to build a site that looks this good, works lightning fast, and works so well for your business. Now, I know I've been sharing with you guys different website platforms as I experiment with which one is my absolute favorite right now, but I will always have a soft spot for WordPress. WordPress is where I learned how to make websites back in like 2016, and I feel like it just offers so much customization. And I know there's so many website platforms that are popping up that offer really great features, but WordPress, it just, it's its own thing, you know? It just has great pricing options. It has so much customization down to what server you wanna host it on. It also just has so many options for visual building and it just makes me feel better because i know that i own the database of my website so there's so many reasons why i always go back to wordpress i just wanted to preface with that because i know i've been sharing a lot about like framer and shopify and all the other platforms and i really think that when it comes to your website platforms that it matters with what your clients will feel comfortable using. So even though I love WordPress, I do like to offer different platforms to my clients so that they feel comfortable. But I just have to say WordPress is my OG and I can't say goodbye to it forever. Plus, if you have a client that comes to you that needs a blog, I still think WordPress is top tier for those options. And that is why I wanted to make a video to share with you guys a great hosting platform and why I still love to use WordPress, so let's jump into it. If you have designed a website on WordPress before, you know how important it is to find a hosting provider that you can rely on. In this video, I'm gonna be using Cloudways as our hosting provider. Not only because it is super fast, but it also comes with an amazing visual building theme called Astra. It makes designing a website basically foolproof. Okay, I've shown you guys Cloudways before, but it is truly such an amazing hosting platform because you don't have to mess with tons of confusing server things. It's a managed hosting provider, meaning that they handle the nerdy tech side of everything so you can just build your beautiful website and you can launch your WordPress website really quickly with just a few clicks. Okay, so let me show you how to sign up for Cloudways. First, you choose your server. I recommend Volter or DigitalOcean for speed. With just a few simple clicks through these options, you can install WordPress with no headaches at all. Now that we've got WordPress installed, it's time to make it look good. If you guys have watched my WordPress videos before, you probably have seen that when it comes to the visual builder on the websites, I typically like to use Divi. Divi is such a great visual builder and you can also use this with Cloudways on any WordPress website that you're creating. But I wanna show you in this video how to use Astra, which is also a great visual builder. And I would say that it's a lot more lightweight than Divi. Not only is it a lightweight, amazing builder for any sort of custom website that you're creating, but it also comes with some great starting templates. So if you don't like building a website from scratch, then this is a great starting point. Now for me and my business, I love to provide my clients a website that doesn't look cookie cutter to anyone else's. So I wanna start with this Figma design that I really am excited to develop and build on WordPress. But just for the heck of it, here's a little scroll through all the Astra theme templates from portfolio to business websites and so much more. They really have such great starting templates if you are just learning. Now, every time I start a WordPress website, I first like to make sure all of the colors and fonts are set up properly. I also like to view my websites like a hamburger. We want to start with the two buns and then fill in everything else from there. And those two buns are the header and the footer of the website. So let's build those out as well.
Now, one of the reasons I love WordPress is because of all of the customization options that come with it. And you also can add really amazing plugins to make your site work even better for you. I always like to err on the side of caution with plugins because too many plugins can weigh your website down and cause it to not load as fast, or you can run into the issues of plugins not having updates and it really breaking your website. So it's really important to make sure that you're looking at the reviews of each plugin and also limiting the amount of plugins that you're installing. Now, even though Astra is already pretty fast out of the box, a caching plugin like W3 Total Cache or even Breeze can help your site load even faster by storing static copies of your pages so your server doesn't have to reload everything every single time someone visits. All you have to do is install it, activate it, and your site will be faster. I've also noticed that in the past when there was ever an issue with my WordPress website, it's typically due to a caching issue. That's why I always like to make sure I have a caching plugin installed. That way I can make sure I'm refreshing it from time to time to make sure it's loading on the viewer's end properly. If you are worried about your website speed, you can also install a plugin like Tiny PNG or Smush, which can help you shrink the image sizes without losing quality. A little rule of thumb that I have for uploading any images onto my WordPress website is to make sure that they are smaller than 300 KB. I know this can be a little bit tough if you want your image to be super crisp and high quality, but it really just matters how you're exporting it and maintaining that quality by keeping the main image size file. Because the larger you get, the more responsiveness issues you may have, or it can just slow your website down a lot. But a simple plugin like Smush can help you compress all the images while maintaining the quality. As you can see, it's so easy to use and it just goes through everything you have on the website. I had to mention this because although Cloudways offers such great, amazing website speed and Astra is very lightweight so your website can load really fast, it's so important that you're doing all the right steps to make sure that your image sizes and the caching and everything isn't slowing your website down even more. And as you guys can see, it is really not that difficult to build a custom WordPress website using a Figma design and just redeveloping it on WordPress. You can also use all those templates and themes that I showed you inside of Astra. And another really cool part about Astra and Cloudways and WordPress is that you can also install the Divi Builder on top of all this. If you are really comfortable using a front end visual builder, you can use them all together or you can use Elementor or whatever you use to build a really custom, beautiful website that's not cookie cutter. That's why I wanted to show you guys in this video how easy it can be to build a WordPress website. I know that WordPress can be a little bit intimidating, especially if you have never learned it before, but using a great hosting provider and a visual builder, and also these plugins to make your website even better can really help you learn WordPress super quickly. But I always like to look for a hosting provider that provides speed, great customer service, and is really lightweight and doesn't have a very bogged down server. And that is why I really like Cloudways and I really love the combination of Cloudways, Astra, and even adding in plugins like the Divi Builder or anything else I need to make my website even better. Now that our website is complete, it's time to go live and show it to the world. If you are new to WordPress, I really hope this video helped you out and that it gave you some insight into how to create a WordPress website without having to know how to code because it really doesn't have to be that difficult. If you learned anything from this video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. But if you guys want to see how I start my branding process, which is what I always do before jumping into a website design, be sure to check this video out here so you can learn my entire process for creating a beautiful brand and website design for my clients. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.